<laughs> ow, ow, ow. That must have hurt. Hey, you've been kicked in the nuts. Hey everybody, it's me, Remy, the comic book poser. I'm here to welcome you to Enter the Poserverse. It's Wednesday. I'm late, I know. Uh, I had a co-pilot come with me to the comic book shop today. And then we had to go get bananas and popcorn from the grocery store. And then she wanted to look at everything. So if you see Toby and Ainsley come in with um, very loud princess poppy suckers, that's what took us so long. Took her 10 minutes to go. Can I have that one, please? So there we go. Uh, <laughs> nice. Daddy, Daddy. Hey, Cole. Hey, bud. What's what, up? What's this guy? You love Poppy? Well, it's time Autobots. Yeah. Look, Poppy's head opens it? up and it sings. Uh, so we found two cool things while we were at the shop today and the grocery store uh at the grocery store we picked up my guy patrick mahomes and very very clean although i would love to find one without his helmet on and you get the full mahomes hair effect and then at my shop i found the superman in the holiday sweater which i think is is pretty cool in terms of the DC holiday pops that are coming out. I like Batman as Ebenezer Scrooge. That might be the only other one uh, that I try and find, but it's a big day. I have a bunch of stuff. Uh, I don't have class for half an hour, so I figured I would show off not just the random stuff I picked up at my shop today, but I also have a bunch of stuff that's just been piling up from Kickstarter that I figured I would go through and share with people. And by people, I mean, the second person who's watching, and Colt. So, in terms of picking stuff up today, uh, I got, I think, everything that was on my pull list, and then we found a couple of extra books that um, I had either missed or I was going to pass on and then bought it anyway. So, out today, I don't know why Jason gave me two of them, uh, but you've got the DC Future State like promo stuff, and it's a nice little sketchbook in the same way that Marvel's was last week. So I've said a couple of times I haven't planned on pulling anything from from Future State, but I was talking to the burrito guys last night, and that very well might change. Um, I'll show those off last. So we got some X Men because we've got our last three Ten of Swords books this week. We've got Maestro, number four, and I've been enjoying that. We've got Excalibur 15. This is the first of the three chapters this week. We've got some Doctor Doom action. I've been enjoying that book. Daredevil, I think just the symbolism of that cover with Daredevil about to be crushed by the Judge's Hammer is something that's pretty cool. And if you haven't been reading Daredevil... He's turned himself in and he's on trial for killing somebody at the start of the arc on, on accident. I thought I'd drop that, but there's Batman Superman 14. It's It's been okay, so we'll see if maybe this sells me on it again. This has been the only Joshua Williamson title I haven't been super into. Legion. So we get some new Krypton, we get some new Kandor. Flash seven ninety or seven fifty six. Got some Devil's Highway. I was excited that that came in this week because last week, uh, my AW like the AWA books and the Mad Cave books didn't ship from Diamond to to my shop. We got Ten of Swords Destruction, uh, and you'll see two books that'll have a raffle ticket in them. Uh, my shop owner will, will raffle off uh, some incentive. Sure. Mmm, tastes like strawberry. Yeah. 
Uh, but he'll raffle off incentive variants from time to time on big books. Yeah. Where's my puppy from? I finally got my copy of The Vein number two. Where's my puppy from? That's two weeks late. Where's my puppy from? From Trolls. Oh, you want to go get this to Toby? Yes. We picked up some. Where did you put yours? Is it upstairs on the table? We picked up some True Believers books for the kids. Ooh, hey, Travis. And congratulations on fully funding. Travis is the uh, driving force behind the Cthulhu vs. Oz uh, project on Kickstarter that was just successfully funded at, I think, like midnight. Uh, so I'm very excited to get that. And he was on, he and a couple of folks were on my stream last week. Uh, I need to go back and finish the end of his drive through burrito on Saturday because it was, I think I woke up to go to the bathroom at like 3 a.m. Central time and they were still going. So um, I'm excited to check out more of Travis's stuff. Uh, here were some of my unplanned pickups. I ended up picking up Power Pack number one after uh, Cole and I last night after playing D&D were like, fuck it, we don't need that book. I bought it. Sorry. Werewolf by Night number two. Um, I enjoyed number one a little bit, and it's written by Taboo from the Black Eyed Peas, my favorite member of the Black Eyed Peas. Yeah, uh, Ken, they are active, and my wife forgot that I had to teach today, that she thought I had the day off, so I very quickly mounted our basement television outside in the playroom so they could float between here and upstairs while I was, you know, actively teaching. We got Multiverse Who Laughs. And then it was local comic book or local comic shop variant day today. And I know I have a couple of these coming because I picked some up from Ninja Dairy Comics on one of his final order cutoff shows. So this is like the seventh printing of Something is Killing the Children, number one. And it's a foil. I saw Peanut Butter come in, and I'm ignoring him because he whooped my ass in fantasy football. Because uh, apparently I started a bunch of people who ended up not playing. Got a foil cover to Mighty Morphin and Power Rangers. And my wife is now calling, so you can hear hear me. Hello? Uh, give me, like, five minutes. Yep. Okay, yep. Love you, bye. But yeah, Peanut Butter gave me a whooping. So Mighty Morphin and Power Rangers, and then the fourth printing of Ice Cream Man 20, sticking with the Dr. Seuss theme. And all of that was bag one. Bag two. Hey, Comic Hunter. Hey, Joe M. I'm going to move these. Uh, I got to read this before Cole did. And I knew how mad he would be. So I believe I knew the second Cole finished reading it. Because there was a big, like, all text, what the fuck, Jared Lahan uh, tweet at him. But this book is fantastic. Uh, peanut butter, those tin fo or those foiled number ones of Mighty Morphin and Power Rangers are both real cool. Uh, Bleed Them Dry, number five. I think that's different from the cover that I pulled up, and I kind of like that one uh, more than the sword. We've got. Some Department of Truth number three. I think this might go towards the top of the stack in terms of some reading today. Same with Autumnal number three. I want to know if we're starting to figure out why the leaves are significant. It does look like the ice cream man is sniffing poop. That would be funny if it was green eggs and poop. Uh, I got another copy of Pantomime number one from Mad Cave. Came out two weeks ago. Some Snake Eyes Dead game. Hey, DJ Lynx. You're... Some Scumbag. I think we're literally in everything else that I said was in my pull list video. Nailbiter. That cover. Nailbiter Returns. That cover just looks really, really cool. Philadelphia. 
Uh, the next one that's moving pretty quickly up the list, and I can oh, I did have one missing that I can now tell. Uh, my kaiju score didn't come in after talking to Cole about it. So there's I Walk With Monsters. Stargazer 3, that one's real good. Donatello, uh, best of Donatello, it's more um, reprints of old Eastman and Laird. This is the second one. The first one was Raphael. Undiscovered Country. Oh, so read Scumbag first. Okay. I'll take that. Uh, Unkindness of Ravens, number three. That's also a really good book. I have another copy of Terminal Punks. Uh, one of them I've got to send away to uh, Evan. I think he was the one that won his with from my interview with um, Matthew Erdman uh, for his song that helped him survive 2020. And then Other History of the DC Universe, which also has a raffle going on. And Jason was shocked because I got there, um, you know, two hours after the store opened today let alone the people who do come in on Thursday or Tuesdays and pick up their DC books from him. And he said that like, I'm one of five or six people that picked up the other history of the DC universe. So I'm hoping it's really good. There's been a lot of hype surrounding it. The reviews of it uh, all sing its praises, which is not all the time typical of a DC book. I love you too, girl. So I'm going to clear these out. Yeah, can you say hi to everybody? Hi! She wants to show you her poppy. All right, excuse me, big girl. You're right where I'm reaching. Okay. So, y'all know that I tend to unbox the stuff that I get sent to me relatively quickly. Watch out. I can't do it. And, oh, it's all sticky. There you go. Uh, but for some reason, I've been letting a lot of the stuff that I've backed on Kickstarter kind of sit. Uh, have I read all those yet, Ken? No, not yet. Um, but I will today because my classes are easy touching off sour days. So the one that I did open yesterday because I saw the name on the Gemini mailer... Uh, and knew I needed to read it was Ninja Nuns that I backed on Kickstarter. Yes, uh, it's an uh, an offshoot of Metal Shark Bro, and it's been uh, announced that it would be put out by Scout. And the Metal Shark Bro trade or number two trade comes out soon. So, yeah, Poppy is funny. That's a really Really good read. She won't fit there, big girl. Uh, it's it's a good read if you liked uh, like any kind of irreverent action comic. That that's definitely what you get in spades from Metal Shark Bro. Uh, the second one is something I'm really excited by. No. Just, just, um, hey, are you, can you go watch some more of your show while Daddy talks to people online? And then you can come sit with me? Uh, the next one, I think this is the fastest that I've ever gotten something from Kickstarter. Uh, that I backed this, I think, two month and a half, two months ago. Uh, it's Don't Ever Blink, number one, by, uh, I think it's Brian Hawkins and Richard Kemp. Uh, it's a really cool horror story about people getting their eyes sewn shut. Um, oh, there you go. So Kablam is who a lot of uh, open my kickstarters when I'm all done. When I'm all done, give me five minutes. Can you go turn the sink off? Uh, but Kablam is a digital printer that a lot of folks on Kickstarter have been using because it prints to order and allows reprinting. So there's the A cover. There's the variant. And then I also got a print uh, that came with it, and I like that it's textured. But 
I've already read that. I wrote a preview on it. Uh, the Kickstarter for number two is live, and I've backed it at a level where uh, I am going to be murdered in the next book. I'm so glad that you got a, a Maroon's box. Yeah. See, another Kablam ad. So, this, yeah, when I'm all done, go watch your show for a minute. And then when I'm done, I'll help you. Nope. Uh, so this is Tokyo Blade Detectives. Uh, it was a two-issue series, and then the third one had just come out. Yes. Kids do do attack when you're using your phone. Uh, this just looked like an interesting like samurai tale. Uh, and it's from like Black Black Mab Magic Publishers. I got three more, and then I will uh go upstairs and help my wife and then deal with my children. Uh, this is Bowtie Press. It's uh, Baboon and the Pink Lemonade Jamboree. This just looked like a wild, like, Silver Age spoofy kind of book. Daddy, this, Daddy, can, can I see the back of it? Can I see the back? There are some stickers on the back. This, this sticker is crazy. Yeah. There you go. So that looks interesting. That I didn't read the PDF of when it got sent out. And then we've got the two that have been sitting here forever. Okay, bud. Hold on one second. Let me get this out of the box and I'll open your sucker. Do you like it? You can do it? Yeah, those are better covers. Okay, Ken. See, you. Ha I think I might just randomly send you pictures of that it's don't ever blink cover as payback uh from all of the creepy clown ken videos that i had to watch because you know i'm scared of of clowns uh this one is is this jungle lords this one is written by okay so put it back in then i'll help you in a second okay in there. So I got Jungle Lords and for, uh, First Man from Image that Jungle Lords is written by someone who I'm pretty sure used to write for Marvel. And then it came with some trading cards. And the last one is please. huge. One second. And I still have more coming. Like I went on a massive Kickstarter backing uh, binge. Here. I'll, I'll give you okay, there you go. And it's all trades in here, but it's the initial book that I backed is called Maybe Someday uh, Through a Wave Blue World, but I've got Loved and Lost with a print. There's maybe someday that looks kind of like steam or yeah, steampunky in terms of how the story is put together, but the art is just really, really cool on the inside. Uh, in terms of all of the different little shorts that are in there, and the last two all we ever wanted stories of a better world, and then this nightmare kills fascists, which I thought was pretty entertaining. Uh, Biggie, I think that's got to be a way better or a way more difficult challenge for you since you just have a bunch of bangers, uh, and big boy books and I, I don't, uh, no, not getting, I don't know what ha 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 is, but I'm sure if you tell me about it, I'll probably end up getting it. Mo, what's going on? But that's everything I got today. So, uh, stack this thick of things to read from my LCS. Uh, a stack of things, you know, this big to read from Kickstarter. So I'm going to have a busy weekend and I'm looking forward to, I'm going to start doing some of those old Thursday videos again, uh, focusing on all kinds of independent comics that indies you should invest in series, not from a well monetary standpoint, you should give independent creators some money uh, because they put out dope shit. But also... Ooh, 
yeah, no, I'm not reading that. I'm not looking at the Ice Cream Man team doing a clown book. Um, but there are stories that I think are really good that if you can still find them, uh, that they're really good to check out. The first one that I've got coming down the pipe uh, that may drop, I would usually drop them on Thursday, but I'm just have like a stupid unboxing video tomorrow uh, that either Friday or next Monday, along with my rankings video, I'm going to drop a motion review of El Crudo one through three uh, and number four is up on Kickstarter. I've got one for Metal Shark Bro one and two in the works. Uh, and then I might start doing some with these different anthologies and Kickstarter tales that may be things that are a little different uh, that folks can get into. But that's it. I got to wash some hands from a bunch of little sticky hands from a sucker. Should have thought of that ahead of time. Uh, but I got a lot of reading to do and I'm looking forward to see what folks have got, you know, going on in the next couple of days. Check out my comic burrito dudes tonight. They're going to do this week in comics. And I know if uh, Cole is telling me to read Scumbag first. I know I've got to read that so I can agree or disagree with them tonight. Uh, but I'll post my sequencing of what I plan on reading on the blog. Uh, and, you know, check you out throughout the week. Everybody have a good Thanksgiving tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow night, I have the ITIS live stream going on where we'll see if I fall asleep on my own stream, but I figure. Uh, anybody who wants to show up and just talk the shit, I'll have another Thursday night stream going on. I've got another giveaway, so I showed these off last week. Uh, it's the TKO short, The Father of All Sins. Uh, this was signed by the artist Baldemar Rivas on Saturday at the shop, and if you want one of those, hop on in. Oh, there we go. Uh, and check out Biggie Shack tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern. Uh, he'll have another sub push show that Y'all need to get more people to watch watch Biggie, and we all know and we all love the guy. So start helping help him push things to to get my guy to that one K. Because if there's anybody who grinds harder uh, and deserves it, it's it's definitely Biggie. But I'm gonna go deal with my kiddos before I have to teach a class. So oh, John, he came in right as right as I was wrapping up because I gotta teach a digital lesson again soon. But I got a bunch of cool things from Kickstarter that you can check out. And uh, I think John's got his review show tonight and you can check out, Oh, he's got an interview on gray man's channel and Oh, his pop culture live show going on tonight. And it's not Mo me watching Mo try and play video games. Like I have to figure out how to play this new world of Warcraft expansion that I'll probably start listening to people on my phone and then get my warlocks ass kicked uh, as I try and figure out how to play again for the first time in a while. But if you missed anything, you can see what I'm reading this week, the little things that I picked up from Kickstarter on, on the Rewind. And as always, y'all, thanks for stopping by, and have a good one. I was banging seven gram rocks, that's how I roll. Winning. I had one gear go epic. Winning. Are you bipolar? I'm bi-winning. <laughs>